SVG is back in Los Angeles for the 2023 Esports Production Summit. Really pleased to be joined by good friend Corey Dunn with Optic Gaming. Uh, Corey, how are you doing, sir? How's the event so far? That's good. Uh, already started off with the keynote and a lot of good friends that were up there on the stage. So it's always cool to be able to see their perspectives and where they're at in their stage of life. Um, and you know that's really kind of exciting to be able to talk about the different panels that, that I'm on later on today. Yeah, we're excited to be here always to see you guys and see what the esports sector of the industry is up to. As you mentioned, we have a panel later today about the venue experience. Um, first and foremost, Esports Stadium Arlington is probably the preeminent venue in the esports space, one if not the preeminent venue. Talk about any updates to the venue and kind of what you guys have been up to over the past year. Yeah, so a lot of it we still kind of focus on the the experience around the, the guests that are coming into the overall space. So we're really focused on making sure that we're able to help our clients that come into the venue. Uh, so for example, we have Smite World Cup coming in, uh, the World Championship coming in uh, in January again. They loved working with us so much, both from the experience side, but also helping them deliver a product. Uh, it's fun to watch events that are like that because the publisher really leans into all the aspects that make up the game. Competition is a part of it, but cosplay is another. They bring in, they do a, a whole panel talking about what the next uh, evolution of the game is. And so like being able to bring all those pieces together are cool to see. And so for what we're doing at the stadium is just making sure we're able to help them elevate those types of product and really just saying, hey, these are the ins and outs of things that we've done in the past. Because not only do we run the venue, we also operate our own events through the venue, from doing Optic Texas Majors, to doing Halo, to all the other different types of things we do. And so we know the space, and so we share that information with them as well. Right, it's creating an atmosphere, not just about the competition that you're coming there to see, but kind of an over-encompassing thing that uh, the fans are really going to try to come out to the venue and, and kind of experience. Um, for the actual matches, whether it's a recent production that you guys did, whether it's this technology that you do uh, at Esports Stadium Arlington, can you talk about what a typical match day would look like in terms of what fans are seeing and experiencing? Yeah, so one of the things that like we just went from doing a charity event that was encompassing tons of different competitions, activations, to then flipping over the next week doing a studio show that had some of our high caliber talent playing up on the main stage for everybody to be able to see. So like, we're able to kind of make those changes, but one of the things that's fun for our fans is we went, we went back to the grassroots of things where we did Guitar Hero 3. I mean, what was the last time you heard anybody mention Guitar Hero 3? We did Smash Melee. We actually had two of uh, two incredible guys who were playing up on the stage, Skump from the Call of Duty scenes, known to go there, Mango from the Smash Melee scene. They were playing against each other on a game of NFL Blitz 2003 on a CRT monitor. So like, we went back to our grassroots to be able to create these like really fun moments. And that's really what we started realizing for us as a not just a venue, but more so an event operator from via, uh, from Optic. And so we created and leaned into that. And that's where we started seeing some really stuff where fans were just super stoked being able to see their guys play things that they may not be the best at, right. but at least having fun just like you would at home. Exactly. One more question before I let you go. You're in a position and your team's in a position where you have to attract the attention and create the buzz from when the fan buys the ticket to when after the match and they're leaving, right? Talk about the idea of extending that experience and how you're kind of captivating fans from the moment they buy it to the moment they leave. So one of the things, in my, I, I worked for a digital agency as a creative director. One of the things I understood is really the user experience and the journey that you go through in a brick and mortar store. And for us, where we actually start our event planning for different events, is understanding that it starts whenever they first understand about the event, it's where they make the first purchase. You have to also validate that purchase with them later on. So you don't want to create that, well, I, I spent X amount of money, because it is, it's their dollars, it's their time that they're going to be spending. So we make sure that they we, we validate time and time again through messaging, getting excited. We don't, when we do an announcement for the very beginning of the event, we don't share everything we're doing because we want to be able to hit multiple times going up to the event. And even for us, we look at the whenever they land in the airport, when they get to their hotels, when they get to the parking lot, and they're walking up and seeing their other fans that are around them. We want to continue that validation that they're a part of that community. We haven't even talked about getting into the first match of the day, right? Like, it's, it's all those different touch points that we have with the, the, the guests that we want to make sure we continue to elevate and validate why they're spending the money that they're doing or to go see the event, opposed to just pulling out their phones and watching on Twitch. Right, finding ways to entertain them while they're here and make sure they end up coming back later on. Uh, Corey, good to see you, number one. Two, uh, thanks for the time, and three, uh, good luck with all the rest of the events. You guys do a great job. Thanks for the time, Corey. Awesome, appreciate it.
Corey Dunn here with Optic Gaming here at the 2023 SVG Esports Production Summit. For more interviews like this one with Corey here in LA, please head over to our website at sportsvideo.org.